Hi there. After having seen a quick demo of the multi-page user form, let's see how to build it. In this video session, we'll see how to create it from scratch and maybe in the next video session, we'll see how to configure it so that whatever data has been input must get entered in the appropriate cells. So let me close this one, go to a new sheet and this is where we start. I go to Visual Basic and I will insert a new form, insert user form and this we're going to name as user form 2. Now what I wish to have is a multi-page and which you'll find under this toolbox control. In fact, there are two of them. One is a tab strip and one is multi-page. At this moment in time, we'll be taking up multi-page from the toolbox. I click on it and I quickly draw one which should occupy mostly the entire uh, first half of the user form and it says page one, page two. So the index of page one is zero and the index of page two is one. That's how they begin zero, one, two, three, four. We'll use this uh, information later as in when we refer to the different tabs. But right now I wish to change the name of page one. So I right click on it and it says rename. Wow. And the caption of this is going to be, let's say personal details personal details. There I go. If you want that using a shortcut key, the user can quickly toggle between the two tabs. Then I would want to underline one of the uh, letters of the word personal and hence the accelerator key is going to be P. So once I press OK, notice what happens. The personal details have been appearing and letter P has been underlined. So that means if you press Alt P, when you are running the user form, then quickly this tab will be activated. Similarly, I'm going to rename the page to right click, rename. Okay. And this is going to be other, other details. There I go. And the accelerator key is going to be O. So I press okay. Now amongst each of these tabs, I want to place some text boxes for user input. So what do I do? First things first, I go to label and put one label, which might say a first name. So I'm going to give a very simple one, first name. Mm -hmm. And what if I can quickly copy and paste it? That I'll do. So I'm just going to resize this. Right. Once this has been done, then I press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. It quickly adds one more label, which I'm going to later align. But at this moment, I'm going to name them appropriately, last name. Since it's still copied, I can go to other details tab and press Ctrl V. And this I can mean rename as email, email with the correct spelling. Let me place it appropriately. I go back to personal details and this time I pick up the text box, quickly draw one mm -hmm. and control C, control V. For aesthetics purpose later, I may want to align them and place them horizontally equally. But as of now, I'm just placing them at uh, more or less the appropriate grid. So this again, I'm going to copy and go to other details and paste. This going to hold the email address of the user. I'm just going to extend a little bit more. Perfect. Now, once you do this, the next couple of things that I want in the form is the button. So the click me button, which is also called command button. I quickly draw one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to copy this and paste it. Control C, Control V, simple. Later I'll talk about alignment. At this moment again, I am pressing Ctrl V and this third button is going to where I'm placed in the third position. The first one, I'm going to give a name, a simple one. Let's say transfer data. Transfer. The next one could be cancel. Cancel. And the third one, it's going to be clear, clear or maybe reset. Either way, clear. So this is more or less how the entire structure is going to get across. Let me use uh, the techniques of formatting for a static display to make sure they are equally placed. So I press control and choose the remaining two buttons. I go to format and I make sure they are center aligned. So let's show vertically. Okay. So let me just make sure I drag them down. Correct. Now, once they have been done, so let me choose the first text box and the appropriate label. And maybe if I go to format and I might say align, align to the top. Perfect. In fact, once you are doing it, let's do it for all. Align to the top. 
and for the details i'll choose both of them and again say format align to the top right in fact what would have been better would have been format align to the middle maybe yeah so yeah let me do this quickly this will come more with practice that which is the text box alignment that's going to look good you're almost there perfect so this is our form which we are going to configure in the next video so that it can accept the user input and then feed it into the excel so for the time being i'm just going to name the first cell heading as first name and this is last name and the third one being email so let's let's talk about the configuration part in the next video